Hey guys and welcome back to another one. Now we are going to kick off 2018 with a new computer built and in this particular case will be a video editing or motion graphics design to be more precise in my particular case and also some gaming and in this particular video I will share with you guys the components that I'll be using or to be more precise the components that I've already used because at this moment the computer build is already finished and I'm just tweaking here and there to get everything fine-tuned and what I'll be doing is just sharing some highlights and the components that I'll be using which I also share down below on the video description and that being said let's go straight for it And we are back and as I was saying guys the components that I'll be using in this particular case uh, I will start with the case which I'm using at this moment the new NZXT uh, H400i which is a really solid case in this particular case it's a micro ATX case uh, that I've chosen the color is black and looks awesome and you guys can see uh, some images right over there in terms of motherboards, I'll be using the Asus ROG Strix Z370G, which in this particular case, it's the Micro ATX version. There's also the ATX and Mini ATX version, but for me, it makes sense using a Micro ATX case with a Micro ATX motherboard. Regarding the CPU, I'm using the Intel i7 8700K, which in my opinion is one of the best uh, CPUs out there and I know that at this moment there's a really uh, really nice balance between CPUs from Intel and AMD and there are great deals on both sides being Intel always a bit more expensive but if I have to choose one at this moment I'm going with Intel and this uh, six core CPU is actually awesome for the type of work that I do as I will share, share some more info uh, when I talk about the CPU itself. Now in terms of PSU I'll be using my Snow Silent which is a great great PSU. Uh, it's white which is the only downside uh, in this matter. When I bought it uh, a couple of years ago it was for a white build as some of you guys may remember. At this moment I've chosen to do a black build and the PSU uh, is not looking a Accordingly. Nonetheless, it is a great PSU, totally silent, the fan doesn't spin at all. I have already shared my review in the past with you guys, I will leave a link down below. It bothers me a little bit having a black system and a white PSU at this moment. I thought that uh, it wouldn't bother, but when I look at it at this moment, uh, honestly, it's bothering me a little bit. What I'm going to do is, when possible, I will have a black PSU on this system so that everything is black. Now, moving to storage, guys, I'll be using two types of storage in this particular case, one of which is the Transcend M.2 SSD, 256 gigabytes of capacity and I'll be using it for the uh, system with the Windows operating system and also all the software that I use. Also I will be using a Toshiba hard drive 3.5 um, inch 2 terabytes hard drive which I'll be using mostly to uh, store some data especially those games from the Steam uh, library uh, so that I can game stream and so on and so forth. Those of you that follow the channel know that I use mostly external storage which is right over there in terms of network attached storage solution and direct attached storage solution both on my Mac and Windows system so um, I, I'm not tied to a operating system and I'm not tied to any computer I can just replace it and everything is stored on my external units and soon enough I will be sharing some changes that I will be making as well right over here but that will be for a later on video and in terms of RAM I'll be using 32 gigabytes of the G skill uh, Trident Z RGB DDR4 3000 megahertz and uh, this kit of uh, RAM is just beautiful and I know that RAM is there to do work and not to look great but if we can have a balance between the both which is uh, what I believe that I've accomplished then great it does its job and it looks cool at the same time when we look at the computer. 
and to cool down the CPU, which is the powerful i7-8700K, I'll be using the NZXT Kraken X42 140mm liquid cooling, which, once again, looking to the RAM and the uh, CPU cooler looks great, as you guys can see some images on screen. But I'll share some more details uh, towards the end of this uh, series. And finally, in terms of GPU, I'll be using my MSI GTX 960 armor and I did review this unit in the past. I will keep on using it because at this moment it's more than enough for the type of work that I do. In terms of After Effects, the type of work that I do doesn't push too much on the GPU. It's more on the CPU and RAM, as I will share with you guys later on. And in terms of gaming, although I love gaming, especially game streaming to my Android TV boxes around the house through our uh, PC uh, here on the office, for the games that we play, this GPU so far is enough. And that is it guys, this is my uh, computer build for 2018, I will leave once again all the links down below for all the components, if you guys have any questions regarding any of those, I will try my best as usual to answer all the comments that you guys leave, and on the following videos I will share my experience with every single component that I've used on this build. That being said, my name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.